Hi, I'm Kat Navarro with ID8 TV, and I'm here at Film Break's Monthly Mixer, and I'm interviewing Leah Savoli. She's going to be one of the contributors for Miss in the Biz. Leah is an actor, writer, host, jack of many trades. Hi, Leah. <laughs> Hi, Kat. How are you? <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you because I know that you're such a talented woman. I got to see I got to see Leah uh, lead, a, lead a panel a little while ago, and you just have so many different talents. So tell me a little bit about what you're going to be writing for Miss In The Biz. With Miss In The Biz, I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate between talking about the industry. I just launched a consultation company called Coffee Chat, um, where I sit down one-on-one -on -one with actors, musicians, and kind of, just for an hour, give them a little roadmap, do a little brainstorming, and like kind of give them some direction. Um, so sometimes I'll be writing about that sort of thing, but mostly it's going to be stuff from the heart. Um, I'm up on the site right now, there's a sneak peek, and there's about 10 of us that contributed to the sneak peek. So if you're watching this before May 6th, you can go see it. It is live. And that one is about relationships. I'm in my 30s. I'm single. I have been single for about 10 years, no joke. Um, and I never imagined as a little girl that I'd be in my 30s and not at least have a boyfriend, let alone a fiance or a husband or kids or something. And I want all of that. Um, so I tweet a lot about dating and I try to keep it optimistic sarcasm, you know? So there's a dating, there's a relationship blog up there right now. And then my first piece that's going to launch when the site launches is about the panel. It's about all shapes and sizes and it's about my struggle right now with body image and um, some emotional binge eating actually and so we touched on that in the panel of some e eating daughters and whatnot and so a lot of my articles for Miss in the Biz are going to re be really real. I just love how raw she is. <laughs> Leah you're also an activist. Thank you for like sharing that you know being able to talk about things that other people might feel uncomfortable talking about. Yeah no thank you. Um, I, I produce a lot of live events myself. I do a lot of rock music things and and one of the things I love most doing is charity events. Um, so over the years, you know, I've had events for like, I did an event when 9-11 happened for Twin Towers Orphan Fund, and I've done events, you know, for the Red Cross, and I've done events for uh, the American Suicide, for Prevention for Suicide, and AIDS Walk, and I just, I love um, giving back. Um, a friend of ours, Holly Elisa, who is the founder of Caleb's Hope, Holly's also a contributor for Miss in the Biz, and she couldn't be here tonight because she's in Canada, um, but Holly has a nonprofit called Caleb's Hope, and we did, um, with Helena as well, we did a campaign called Real Men, Real Men Don't Rape, and we did a photo shoot kind of in the vein of um, the No Hate photos, where we all had, you know, Real Men Don't Rape written on us, and it's, it's really stunning photos. You should check them out. So what are some of your favorite causes? I know you, you know, you focus on eating disorders and what are some of the other causes that you just make your blood boil? You know, I, um, I've got like a deep spot in my heart for like runaways and like teen girls and suicide and I want to get more involved in that aspect of things. I went to school for psychology and elementary education so I have my bachelor degrees, it's like a double bachelor in both of those subjects. And at one point in my life I had thought about going into counseling and working with teens and runaways. I just it just so happened that I dated a lot of boys. <laughs> Anyway. You learn a lot from dating, right? You learn a lot. <laughs> and, and that's probably why I haven't dated in 10 years, right? Um, and so I've, I've had a lot of, um, an ex-boyfriend of mine actually um, passed away from, from a heroin overdose about 11 years ago. And I've had a few instances of like really deep loss in my life like that. And I just want to be able to give back and keep everyone happy and like, you know, I don't know. Like I think we're all put on this earth to do bigger things and like lift each other up. Which is why Miss in the Biz is so amazing because Helena's just like amassing 70 plus women. And like even when I pitched her my dating ideas and my relationship, she was like, yes, but you have to keep it positive. And I was like, ah, come on. <laughs> Leah, you're so talented. You are like an artist, but also like a coach. What, adv what advice do you have to other, wo other women out there who want to be able to have that kind of platform that you do and make an influence and make a difference? Like, what advice would you have for, for others out there? And so I guess my, my advice out there to women out there is like at the very least start writing a blog, even if it's private, even if it's just for you, but just to get it out, you know, whatever that it is. I can't wait to read Leah's piece and I can't wait to see all Miss In The Biz has to offer. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Leah. You're welcome. Thank you, Kat.